I'm MJ Miller reporting live from Pelham no, Civic Complex, where the Alabama Crimson Tide is going to take on the it's Oklahoma weird. Sooners in night one. The boys have had incredible energy all season, and I can't wait to see it play out on the next tonight. I'm Jay Miller. I'm here with Kaylin Briere. Kaylin, you are less of a dynamic defense duo. What makes you two work so well together? Well, I think he's pretty offensive, and he's got that offensive mind. He's got to play offense for most of the year so far, so it gives a good give and go system. And we're both working together. All right, there was a big fight at about the nine minute mark, and your teammates really went to bat for you. How does that feel? Feels great. Uh, knowing that they'll be there for me whenever it needs to happen. And I'll be there for them, same as same as always. So. All right, and there is no doubt some tension and animosity on the ice. There's fights, penalties, penalty kills. How does that feel? You're fired. This gives me a bunch of adrenaline. Uh, it's tough to get tired when everything's going on like that. You just you can't get tired. You just have so much energy. All right, and Siegel had an amazing shot on the penalty kill. How does that feel? What are you gonna say to him in the locker room? It feels great. I was in the box when he got the goal, so it makes me not look as bad. So I'll have to thank. Him. All right, thank you, Kaylin. Good luck. I'm here with Eric Reiniger. Now, Eric, I've seen you play fast and offensively, and he scored a goal that got us up by one going into the third period. Can you walk me through that play? Yeah, so this whole week uh, at practice, we've been working on uh, getting into the zone with three on twos. That's exactly what happened. Both my line mates set it up for me to be the wide open back door. And uh, Brian Johnson made a great pass back door. Nothing else but to shoot it. Luckily, it went in. That's the screen in front of the net. It worked for us. Now, you're on the practice ice. Do you think that is affecting your performance in a good way tonight? We are used to this ice. This is where we practice twice a week. So, um, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, we're up by one, so we'll rock, we'll rock with it. All right, going into the third period, what are you going to leave out on the ice? Everything. we got nothing else to leave. We'll see him tomorrow, but leave it all out on the ice tonight. Ice up, heal up tonight, and see him again tomorrow night. All right, thank you. Good luck. Of course. Thank you so much. With Quinn Fahey, Quinn, there are a lot of things on the ice that aren't always in your control. How do you keep your calm? Uh, you just got to stay composed in the team and know that you can only handle the things that like working hard and just play shift by shift. You can't really get too focused on the rest and stuff like that. In the last 30 seconds, the fans went wild for you. What's it like to hit it on the ice? Um, I don't, it's nice hearing like, it pay off after a long game like that. You know, like, They're all over us here at the end when they pull the goal. You know, it's just good to get a team win. Now, this wasn't a known rivalry with OU, but it's been a rough and tumble night. How are you going to keep this energy moving forward tomorrow night? I think we're always better on the second days anyways. You know, we come ready to know how they play a little bit more. And they're going to be tired and want to go home. We can just talk hopefully. So we've been hearing a lot of tunes. We heard Rich Girl, Taylor, Kanye. Who's on Hawks in the locker room? Oh, uh, that'd be Eric Lester. He's a big Hawks guy. Uh, he takes pride in it. Do you ever want to be on Hawks? Oh, uh, no, I'm not. I mean, he he takes control of it mainly all the time. You, can't, you don't really get a chance. All right, thank you. Yeah.